Okay, I wanted to do uh, another video on my latest solar panel rack that I built. Um, I took the uh, old two racks that I had down on individual poles and consolidated and built this thing. It's really quite simple, really very inexpensive, fairly sturdy. Not sure it would withstand a hurricane, but we don't get those in the Pacific Northwest, so wind is all I have to worry about. Snow load it'll handle. This is a um, pressure treated with screws and that's, that's it. I used uh, four by four posts. They're eight feet long. I've buried them in the ground about 24 inches or so. They're roughly in line with each other. Um, they're off by maybe an inch or so, but it doesn't matter. Wood is pretty flexible. Uh, in the northwest here, our sunshine is <clears throat> very high in the sky in the summer, very low in the winter. So a variable rack would be ideal, and you'd want basically 60 degrees angle in the winter and 30 degrees angle in the summer because it goes straight overhead most of the time during the summer. Um, but this is more of a uh, kind of a portable system. If I needed to move this, I would, uh, but the backyard serves its purpose, which is a backup with grid tie capability. So I keep it at 45 degrees um, and that seems to work fine for what I'm doing. <clears throat> so pressure treated two by four by eights, run the length um, at the top, you can see here I've mitered along the length so that I could get it flush. And then at the bottom, that rack is square at one end and then 45 at the other. I've taken the long 2x4s and screwed them to the face of those bracks, brackets. And then down the middle of the long 2x4 I ran a support 2x2 two two, just to make sure that there was enough to hold the whole thing together. At the end down here, let's see if I can adjust this. <clears throat> For the system I've got, it wasn't long enough. With a 2x4x8, I needed another uh, foot and a half or so. So I just screwed a couple of pieces together and that gets me what I need. On the front side, along the panels, I measured. I took a long piece of aluminum, I sawed it down with a hacksaw, and I screwed them in with stainless screws into the side of the solar panel, and just uh, normal gold screws into the two by. Those won't last forever, but they'll last for years. And then here you just have to measure for the offsets on each one. So that's it. Really quite sturdy. I don't have to worry about it being blown over. You can see if I move it, it's flexible because it's wood, but that'll withstand pretty much any wind. We had 50 mile an hour winds here the other day and they didn't get affected at all. Total cost for the wood and the aluminum brackets is probably under 50 bucks, maybe, maybe a little bit more, 60, something like that. Uh, which is far cheaper than getting um, steel racks, which can run you, you know, hundreds of dollars. Good. Oh, those are 125 watt panels, four of them. See ya.